Howdy y'all, Gregos 55 here, and I'm back with another Bible study video. I hope your week's been good, I hope you're trying your best to keep with the Lord's Word, and I hope your weekend is even better. Without further ado though, let's get into the next part of Genesis. Chapter 21 And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived, and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old, as God had commanded him. And Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God hath made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had borne unto Abraham, mocking Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy bondwoman, and all that Sarah has said unto thee, hearken unto her voice. For in Isaac shall thy, thy seed be called. And also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation, because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took bread and a bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottle and she cast the child under one of the shrubs and she went and sat her down over against him a good way off as it were a bow shot for she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lift up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad. And the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thy hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad, and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass at that time that Abimech and Patrol, the chief captain of his host, spoke unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee in all thou dost. Now therefore swear unto me here by God that thou wilt not deal falsely with me, nor with my son nor with my son's son, but according to the kindness that I have done unto thee. Thou shalt do unto me 
and to the land where thou hast sojourned. And Abraham said, I will swear. And Abraham reproved Abimech because of a well of water which Abimech's servant had violently taken away. And Abimech said, I will not who hath done this thing, neither didst thou tell me, neither yet heard I of it but today. And Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them unto Abimech, and both of them made a covenant. And Abraham set seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. And Abimech said unto Abraham, What mean these seven ewe lambs which thou hast set by themselves? And he said, For these seven ewe lambs shalt thou take of my hand, that they may be a witness unto me, that I may have digged this well. Wherefore he called that place Beersheba, because they, there they swore both of them. Thus they made a covenant at Beersheba. Then Abimech rose up, and Pachol, the chief captain of his host, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. And Abraham planted a grove in Beersheba, and called there on the name of the Lord, the everlasting God. And Abraham sojourned in the Philistines' land many days. Chapter 22 And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up, and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, I bid ye here with the ass, and I will, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spoke unto Abraham his father and said, My father, and he said, Here I am, here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood. But where is the land for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place which God had told them of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything upon anything unto him. For now I know thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son thine only son from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked and behold him. Behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name 
of that place, Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time, and said, By myself have I sworn, says the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and has not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. And it came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, Nakah, she has also borne children unto my brother Nahor, Huz, the, his firstborn, and Buzz, his brother, and Camuel, the father of Abram, and Chazed, and Hazo, and Pladesh, and Jupiter, and Buthel, and Buthel beget Rebekah. These eight Nakah did bear to Nahor, Abraham's brother, and his concubine, whose name was Ramah, she bare also Tabah and Graham, and Pahash, and Lakash, and Sarah, chapter 23. And Sarah was a hundred years, a hundred and seven and twenty years old. These were the years of the life of Sarah. And Sarah died in Carthage Arba, the same is Hebron in the land of Canaan, and Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. And Abraham stood up from before his dead and spoke unto the sons of Heth, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner with you. Give me a possession of a burying place with you, that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And the children of Heth answered Abraham, saying unto him, Hear us, my lord, thou art a mighty prince among us. In the choice of our sepulchres, bury thy dead. None of us shall withhold from thee his sepulchre, but thou mayest bury thy dead. And Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of Heth. And he communed with them, saying, if it be your mind that I should bury my dead out of my sight, hear me and entreat me for entreat for me to Ephraim, the son of Zar, that he may give me the cave of Machpelah, which he has, which is in the end of his field, for as much money as it is worth, he shall give it me for a possession of, bur of a burying place amongst you. And Ephraim dwelt among the children of Heth, and Ephraim the Hitti answered Abraham in the audience of the children of Heth, even of all that went in at the gate of his city, saying, Nay, my lord, hear me. The field give I thee, and the cave that is therein I give it thee, in the presence of the sons of my people, Give I it thee, bury thy dead. And Abraham bowed down himself before the people of the land, and he spoke unto Ephraim in the audience of the people of the land, saying, But if thou wilt give it, I pray thee hear me, I will give thee money for the field, take it of me, and I will bury my dead there. And Ephraim answered Abraham, saying unto him, My Lord, hearken unto me. The land is worth four hundred shekels 
of silver. What is that betwixt me and thee? Bury therefore thy dead. And Abraham hearkened unto Ephraim, and Abraham weighed to Ephraim the silver, which he had named in the audience of the sons of Heth, four hundred shekels of silver, current money with the merchant. And the field of Ephraim, which was in Machpeth, which was before Mamir the field, and the cave which was therein, and all the trees that were in the field, that were in all the borders round about, we made sure unto Abraham for a possession in the presence of the children of Heth, before all went in at the gate of his city. And after this, Abraham buried Sarah, his wife, in the cave of the field of Mechapi before Manri. The same is Hebron in the land of Canaan. And in the field and the cave that is therein were made sure unto Abraham for a possession of a burning place by, his, by the sons of Heth. And that, my friends, continues this chapter into Genesis. And I felt so sorry for Abraham to witness the passing of his wife. And it makes us hard to, and it's hard for anyone when you love them to witness their passing. But it was awesome that he showed honor to his wife and got her a proper burial place. But everyone, though it's a sad note as that may be, that'll be the next, we have to wait till the next chapter. But guys, if you like this content, please give this channel a like, share, and subscribe. And please share it anywhere else if I didn't already say that. But remember, all glory goes to God. This is Grey Ghost 55. Out.